These niggas had a sex doll the whole Ryan week. just be offending people. I just, how how I'm offending people? Man, welcome back to Views of a Fleet. These niggas, they made a movie about a sex doll, bro. This your favorite movie, cuz. Come on, Tom. I'm Will I Am the Fold. They gave Big Willie style. They said. What's happening? That's Ryan Jerobe. Man, you already know me, bro. Be on the lookout, Ryan boy. I mean, I ain't, he, I ain't trying Jimmy, to shoot. What's the dude's name? He Jimmy Dunn Dugan, whatever the dude's name is. Hacksaw Jim Duggan? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> hey. Ryan's shooting the day, boy. I'm going to go watch the Weird Science, though. Hey, man, go ahead. But we here talking about Secret Invasion. Once again, starring Samuel L. Jackson. I say once again, but y'all didn't see the first episode. Yeah. We're here talking about <laughs> Secret Invasion episodes one, two, and three. Um, I've I've enjoyed it so far. Yeah, it's been fun. Um, to me, I was going to say each episode keep getting better and better, but mm-hmm. to, to me so far, episode two is the peak mm-hmm. so far. Um, but I think where they going with Sam and... The I don't even with the little conspiracy with his with his family. I don't even want to really like say it. His wife. Yeah, I, that's my interesting point in the show. Like, where are they going with that? Yeah, I thought they was gonna do a little bit more in this third episode with that. Because at this point, I don't know. I know he know that, that she is scroll, mm-hmm. but like, how much do she do he know about her? Like what she doing on the low? Did Gravik put her put her there to get information? Cause we just found out he ain't been home in years. Exactly. And then hey. <laughs> Leave it up to a woman, bro. Oh shit. You knew I was in the bl- you knew I got I was a victim of the blip. And hey, you mad cause I was gone. Like I had a choice. <laughs> True that. But I thought she meant I thought she meant like Cause he was gone like for a few years before then. I mean, then don't say, "Oh well, you Nick Fury." I ain't. I'm not surprised that you be gone. And actually, I think ap- she was talking about after the blip. I think when he was up on the uh, spaceship. yeah in space. Because you got to remember, he been in space for at least a year or two now. At nah, this point, he been in space since. Uh, so she wasn't up there with. He been in space since Endgame. But when Endgame like 2023. Nah, Endgame was like twenty twenty five. Hold on, so she was she wasn't in space with him. So then it's only been like a year then, because uh-huh. I think this is like twenty twenty six. She wasn't in space with him. Nah, nah. When he built so. a relationship with her, then I'm thinking this would have been back the in the nineties. Yeah, it seemed like when when was the flashback? What did it say? Ninety eight. This uh, episode it was when they was in the diner. Ninety eight. It was somewhere around there, and that seemed like that was like the start of their little shit. I'm uh-huh. like, oh, this nigga Fury fell in love with a scroll. That's wild. But, or is Fury just keeping her on the on the beam just to get information out of her? Because I was going to, well, y'all go ahead with y'all thoughts. So, cause I was about to jump into episode three. Like, what y'all think of the season so far? Um, episode one, <clears throat> one, two, and three? All three episodes have been good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, again, episode two has been the best out of the three so far. But, um... Again, I like you said, I like where they're going with the show, period. Mm-hmm. I like the mystery behind it to where we really don't know who a scroll and who does who and who we do. Um and I think like I said in the other about the other episodes, I think that's something that they keep need to keep going with. Yeah. I don't I really don't think it's gonna last after especially the whole are they talking to a scroll or is this a real person? Mm-hmm. That whole thing I don't think gonna Last after this season or what this story, like they're like not gonna know who. I don't think they're gonna play on it. I don't think oh. it's gonna be. I don't think it's if, really gonna come up anymore. If they if they get rid of the, we don't know who scroll mm-hmm. and we don't we know who is. If they get rid of that, I would at least like to see the ramifications yeah. moving forward yeah. from this because obviously some people had to be gun- missing for years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff has happened. And I want to see, you know, what what what's going to happen after they find out that they either been working with a scroll yeah. or whatever the case may be. Because we find out this episode, shit, Fury whole network. The reason he Fury pretty much is because he's been working with hundreds of scrolls this whole time. So why? 
why he act in like episode two? He act like he didn't know they was all. Here. Well, he probably didn't know all of them. Nah, was he, here, but yeah, he didn't know. The thing he, knew was was a, he knew a bunch was here though. He knew the network he was working with and yeah. the ones that were here, but basically, they didn't invaded that. I think he more upset that they invaded the earth and he didn't know it. Mm-hmm. Like, so he don't know what they have going on. Had he had been able to keep a better tab on who was coming in, what they had planned and stuff like that, I think he'd have been okay with it. That's another thing. How are spaceships just coming in? Like, I was going to say, how is it invasion if you don't know it's there? It's, if you don't know they're there, that, how is it? If, I thought when you invade shit. Secret invasion. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the secret invasion. But no, I'm saying, like, how was they flying <laughs> ships in, like, and, and people not knowing? Like it ain't showing up on no Captain, radar. Captain Marvel. No, I, <laughs> or well, another, I guess we see that shit another every, scroll. every other week in LA. They can have scrolls put in position to where that people don't see facts. it. Unless he got some, well. They, they are the head of a couple I, I, of states. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. So what? They don't got the technology. Who made the Blackbird? Wasn't it, wasn't it uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that made the Blackbird? I thought you said the black bear. Like you talking the, about the X Men Blackbird? Yeah, yeah. I don't know who made that motherfucker. But didn't Agent yeah. Shield ship you used to use it still? Yeah, it used all that stuff. Yeah, they can get in here without saying something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they can get in here. I guess I have to say without Fury knowing. Oh, because I could yeah. see like now the regular. Crazy. I could see like the regular government not knowing. Yeah, but Fury with knowing everything that's been going on, like. How you not know all these aliens is coming in? Because his network ain't told him. Remember, his network has been the scrolls. That's how he know everything. They didn't tell him the people were coming in. But then that's another question. Like, why would they not tell him? We had to find out. Because remember, um, what's his name? Talos. 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 Talos, yeah. Talos t- told him it was millions of scrolls. Mm-hmm. So Talos had already knew. Mm-hmm. He yeah. just informed Nick Fury. Exactly. That, that's that. my point. So why didn't he tell him before? Cause and I, then he said that he was on the outs with them because he with him. Because he with Fury. I think he conflicted. I don't know why. I just don't think this this I think this this Nick Fury is a scroll for some reason. I just, I don't know why, but I just don't get this the real Nick Fury. But they might got that nigga back up. I think it is. What's the name of that place they was you in when I he was they doing? when he was laying in front of that screen and it was a beach? Watching this episode, watch this Fury be a robot, and that's why everybody gonna be pissed. Watch this Fury gonna be a life model decoy, <laughs> and that's why they said everybody gonna be pissed at the end of it. In this episode of the season, at the end, because then one one of y'all was saying that. Somebody was saying that they feel like everybody gonna be mad at the big reveal at the end of the, at the end of the no, you miniseries. Are we here? Somebody said it last week. Yeah, and I think that's why because they, everybody gonna feel like, oh, this shit was pointless. Oh, he pulled. This wasn't even the real Nick Fury. He pulling the doom. No, because you know that's what Nick Fury do. Yeah, that's what send Dr. out some light model decoys while he off in space doing some shit. Nick Fury, man, <laughs> that nigga just he don't give a fuck. He don't care about what nothing nobody else got going. Nobody. <laughs> and I'm so glad like that this is Samuel L. Jackson playing this role in this show. Cause I'm not gonna say Sam Carey in the show, but it's like certain parts where I'm watching the show and I'm just like, Sam is just so good. <laughs> like like it's it's good having a veteran I don't know, I guess maybe and- they Classic hit, black actor. They hit us with the mother. They cut it off for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think so far the the series fire to me too. I think this episode was like not a well, no, nah, I, I, I'm 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 gonna stop calling shit filler. This episode was to specifically, I I think she working with Gravic, his his wife. Because why else would she go to Gravic? Uh, I mean, I know they raised him and shit, right? Wait, no, yeah. did she raise Gravic with him? I mean, I'm, he, a, I'm assuming that his wife is that woman that they showed us in the flashback of yeah, the last episode. That's what I was assuming two. too. So she, she, I'm sure she in some type of contact with Gravic. Yeah. Just like how Emily, I don't know her name in it. Oh, uh, what's her name in the book? I can't remember what her name Gaia. is. Gaia. Gaia, yeah. She was still working with her dad type shit, which was crazy. Uh, <laughs> I, but, I don't think she did for real because why nah. would you hire her yeah, I don't think for the series that you knock off in the third the episode? Thing. That'd be dope if they did, though. <laughs> why do we like it this It would shit? be dope, but I would, I would want why, why do we to like continue this? on. Why do we but, like when people die? Because it gives the sh- it, it gives real stakes to what yeah. you're watching. 
if you watching something knowing everybody gonna live, it's like what if I'm going to, to the watch. show because she in it? I mean, it's been several Said movies that to the Kobe and shows. Smolders fans. Right, it's been several Who? shows. Exactly. Who is Kobe Smolders? Um, exactly. Um, uh, Nick Fury, right, right hand woman. Yeah, uh, Maria Hill that died in the first episode. But we thought she was dead in Age of Shield, though, right? Nah, uh, Coulson. I didn't care because you got to remember, no, nah, but, but she been out doing the whole press run for this show. Like I, she been out everywhere. I so if you was a fan of her and then she died at the end of the show first was episode, first? Age of Shield or How I Met Your Mother? How How I Met Your Father? Whatever. Probably like Age Age of Shield. Yeah. Okay, I've always seen her as the lady from How I Met Your Mother. So Me too. It, so when I see her on this, it's like, damn, bro, I just it's hard to take her serious, even though she'd be serious in these shows. So I don't know. But yeah, her name is. I Kobe. like Maria Hill. Her I, name I don't Kobe think they Smolders. used her. I don't think they used her to uh to the the extent that they should have. But I guess that's because they really haven't used Nick Fury like to the extent that they should have oh, until really? now. Yeah, because I, I think I think when you when you get um Samuel Jackson to be Nick Fury. Because before Endgame, we hadn't seen Nick Fury since Age of Ultron. When he pulled up with the helicarrier. So it, he was just absent for Hellas. And I think when you get an actor like Samuel L. Jackson, like, we could have got a little bit more outside of a TV series, what, 13 years from down the line from when he first debuted? 16 years down the line? Hmm. Nick Fury, he really ain't had, so he... He really has not had, like... He, he never really he never really had no big, well, it's a big presence because he's Sam, but Nick ain't really, we ain't exactly. really seen him in the movies, huh? Not really. And you would think if you get Samuel Jackson to do it, that he would be. He had a big presence in the first Avengers movie. Mm -hmm. That was pretty much they it. Showed him in, uh, they showed him in the first Iron Man movie. And you would think with Iron Man back in that time, probably him in in old girl. Uh, Mark Widow? No. Uh, his secretary, they, his wife, they married. Gwyneth Paltrow. You would think him and Gwyneth would have been the big draws of that movie. To what? Iron Man 1. Oh. Back in that time, they what, was 2008? They was? I mean, I don't even think people knew that Nick Fury was in the movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, you say you're you thinking Nick, unless you stay you're saying Nick Fury should have been a big draw. I'm tripping. Yeah, you I'm would think if you're putting uh, Samuel in the movie and you starting this whole thing with Samuel, back then he would have been the big draw. You would think, but I thought mm -hmm. y'all was talking about the dude from Weird Science. I ain't messing with Ron no more. <laughs> what, what was his name on Weird Science? Who? Robert Downey Jr. Man, I don't remember. Oh, he was a bully. Oh, bully. He wasn't a star. We was, we're, uh, oh, I know. Science. I know. Who else was in it? Um. Oh boy, from shit, you probably don't know. It's a bunch of 80s actors in there. I mean, I know a lot of 80s movies. Just don't know where it's at. You gotta remember, Robert been acting since dude was like 16. Yeah, man, he's in Disney. <laughs> what? He was with Disney, wasn't he? I don't think so. Nah. <laughs> I think he was before Disney. No, I think. Don't talk of shit, man. I know that he wasn't with Disney because I know the Disney actors. Yeah. But, uh, but this episode, what. What y'all, how do y'all feel about the conversation Talos and, and Sam was having that pretty much the scrolls is the reason that Nick Fury is Nick Fury now? I don't, um, I didn't care for it because it takes away from Nick, Nick Fury's character. Mm -hmm. I, I, I felt like that did him a, I get where they're going with the story wise for this, but it's almost like, okay. Nick Fury ain't shit without the scrolls, mm -hmm. which what they implied in the show. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's how I feel. Right, but I don't think it's gonna work out that well moving forward because now 
you you've created this plot device to where how can he still be Nick Fury moving forward if we're trying to get rid of the scrolls? It's funny you said that because I would you talking like made me think. Y'all think they're gonna kill Sam? Nah. Maybe it's, destroy this version of him, this damn robot. <laughs> or whatever nah. you think it, they might kill this nigga. The thing is, I could see them killing Sam if they're actually going to do I mean, some type already... of uh, soft reboot yeah. with the um, Kang Dynasty and um, Secret Wars and stuff. Mm-hmm. If they're going to do a soft reboot, I can see how they can go ahead and put an end to this character because he'll be he, basically he the last one left out of the original event. Well, you yeah, still got Thor. Hulk. You still got Hulk. Chris Hemsworth say he done. Yeah, true. Well, they always say that though. Yeah. But their checks say something different. Yeah, they, they just ain't renewed the him. contract. I but, mean, because, right, I don't, at this point, who who going to play Thor? His brother? I mean, if they do a soft <laughs> they do a soft reboot, man, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I just don't be liking that shit. Like, I'm not going to look at no other nigga as Thor. Like, I'm always going to see Chris. Even now, I see Chris Hemsworth and shit, and I be like, damn, look at Thor. Thanks. <laughs> every role he plays, he Thor. <laughs> look at Thor. <laughs> Every role he played, he Thor, pretty much. Cause but what did he do before Thor? Nothing big. Star yeah. Trek. I was in Star Trek. The oh. first one with Chris Pine. He played his dad. I never seen Star was Trek. Was it? Was that before Thor? First generation. Yeah, that was before Thor. It was. No, nah, it wasn't. Not the show. The yeah, movie. Nah, yeah, it's the a movie. movie. Oh, the movie ain't called, the movie ain't called First Generation. No, nah. <laughs> and it was actually called Star Trek: The Second Generation. <laughs> A second generation, something like that. <laughs> One of them generations. Nah, that movie hey, that was like back in the nineties. I like them Star Trek movies. Yeah, them with Star- Chris Pine. I like them. Yeah, but I can't do the shows, man. Chris Pine yeah. is the uh, Wonder Woman dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> do y'all kill me, dog. This is a lot of Chris niggas. Chris Pine, Chris Referring Hemsworth. Chris you got Chris Pine Stevens, the Wonder Evans. Woman niggas. Chris Evans, it's crazy. You say what? Referring to Chris Pine as the Wonder Woman nigga is crazy. <laughs> no, nah, because he was he was big before Wonder Woman. I, you knew exactly what I'm talking about, though, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> facts. facts. But I knew, I, but I know Chris Pine. What the fuck other movie? What See, I know why, the movie he from? he run off Chris Pine movies. Watch, he gonna start running. I them ain't gonna off. lie to you. I don't think I can run his movies off when he went to like. I know. I just remember him but being dirt bags hey, movies. Name me he three was in that Wesley one movie Snipes of, movies. He be dirt bagging movies. I yeah, what was the name of that one movie where Common was in there? Uh, you had a uh, 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 what's the singer name? Uh, Talk about uh, hold up, what, Alicia what Keys was in there. Oh, Aces. Aces yeah, yeah, smoking Aces. Smoking Aces was hard. Though. Yeah, Chris yeah, Pine yeah, was like in there. That. Chris Pine. He was a scumbag. Yeah, he, he had rotten he, teeth and everything. He always a scumbag in movies, bro. Was he in that? Yeah. yeah. Hell no. Because Andre the Thousand was in there, too. Nah, it was hella random ass people in that yeah. movie. That was, a, that was around that weird time of movies being made. Like, it was just weird. I thought that was Chris Hemsworth right here. Man. When I glance down, I'm like, ain't no way they got a picture of Chris Hemsworth for Chris Pine. <laughs> but yeah, but, but uh, back to Secret Invasion. I was gonna say, uh, the decision to to them have a uh, Gravic kill. Uh, well, they they didn't show her die, but yeah, you don't when see she got body. shot, you see you hear that sound that that. Like when they turn back after they get shot, mm-hmm. you you can hear the sound. I don't know if y'all heard it, but I picked up on it. Like he shot her, they didn't show her get shot, but you hear the sound they make when they when they when they change him back. Y'all know what sound? Yeah, I'm yeah. About? No, they made that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I, that's what I'm saying. But I thought she just did that, like to make him think that she was dead. That's what, that's saying. That's why I brought it up because I was gonna say I don't know if she actually where he shot her at because mm-hmm. you see when. When Tallow shot old boy, he shot him in a specific spot. Yeah, but he shot her in the chest. Are they hard, is they hard on the other side? I think so. And I think it's I don't know. I was wondering. Because you, 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 they all getting shot on their right yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. That's a little small detail people yeah, need to pay attention he got to. Shot so. right there. And, and, so I'm asking, <laughs> is, is, damn, they heart might be now. on the other side. Man, why they, <laughs> Nick Fury, he always been quick to murk somebody. Yeah, facts. Cause he he, yeah. he be ready to murk niggas of this, and they don't never let him. I wonder why they won't just let him. 
It's Disney, man. <laughs> but they let the white dude shoot him. Yeah, true. You can't have a black man shooting the white man. man come on, bro. Come on, now. <laughs> come he ain't white. He's a scroll. But man. they never showed the body. Yeah, they did show the body. So Nick Fury always pulling that pistol out. Man, real quick. Matter of fact, he be having it out as soon as he hit the scene. Like, all right, man, what you go? You go. You got one lie to tell me. <laughs> hey man, somebody got to be a real nigga. Yes, and I, and that's what I like about his character because he like, man, look, you gonna even tell me what I want or you going down, brother? Somebody in this universe got to be a real nigga. That's why. That's why Sam keep telling so, him the Avengers. Hold ain't on, this this for me. Cause. So we talking yeah. about Sam, right? Yeah. Did Rhodey call him Nicholas? That's a good point. I don't remember him ever saying his name because he did say he said, "Yeah, don't nobody call me Nick." Mm-hmm. I don't remember if Rody called him Nick or not, man. He might have called him Nicholas, though. I might have to go back and watch that scene, man. Uh, episode yeah, I two. I don't, remember, was, I don't ever remember him saying like a name or nothing. Maybe I'm just putting it in my head because yeah. he said that. But now, but you don't think Sam would have popped him if he did it? He, not he if he don't want him to know. He yeah. know, yeah. you know, because that's that's a <laughs> Nick Fury move right there. Oh, okay, I know you is now. It's probably why he what, was out there panting and shit. You know what right. I'm saying? When he went and sat on the bench. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, maybe I'm looking too much into it. No. Nah. That's what made me think that he wasn't a scroll because when Fury picked up the gun, he didn't shoot him. And <laughs> in this show, if who you, was, if you uh, a scroll, it's all, hey, it's up for you. You sound what? They doing whatever to you. Because he ain't shoot who? Uh, Rody. 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 Uh. And I think he just left Rody alive to play the part. But he didn't shoot him at all. I thought he would have gave him a little right in the knee. Yeah, a little pow pow. Man, that's a fucked up spot to get. I don't, I don't, I don't want. I looked at it as Nick Fury. You know what I'm saying? Just basically being one step ahead. Yeah, being mm-hmm. a good spy. So when it circle, if it circles back around the roadie, he already know. We'll I see. Don't know, cause it. Cause it feel like this episode, like they tried to make him seem like, like he was saying earlier, like worthless kind of. Like, he got into a fight with Talos and then went to go lay up with his wife that he ain't seen in years. Um, got that, got that, got into a fight with her and then pretty much ran back to Talos. It, it, would, make, it would make more sense if Nick Fury actually just playing everybody like y'all saying. Exactly. I mean, y'all see that bullshit Talos was eating the ball. <laughs> Man. That motherfucking nah, tomato. Yeah, the whole tomato. That there. salt and pepper on there. It wasn't fried or nothing. The they just sliced that motherfucker and threw it on there with the egg. And some toast. What do you call it? A British breakfast? I forgot what they call it. An <laughs> English, English, uh, English American breakfast. Uh, something like that. I was like, what the that fuck shit. is Talos Man, eat, he came man? and he said, you really feed eat that dog food? Man. <laughs> right. I'm if like, you look them up food. in real life, them place is terrible. What English breakfast? Yeah. yeah. Like them places. Like, terrible. man, look at they look at Paul's. Look at the sausage. <laughs> No, nah, that should be looking terrible. Man, man. That shit, man. Nah, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie though. Those sausages be fire. Dude, you had it before? Yeah, that sausage be fire. English, what is it called? English sausage? I think, no, it's just like a regular sausage. Oh, just called but sausage. They, yeah. <laughs> just like a whole sausage link. They like is. sausages, Pauls, because you know dude <laughs> told them in episode two, go get me a sausage. <laughs> Let's sit there for <laughs> He told him, shut up and go give me a sausage. Hey, man. And he would have hacked that mug off the uh, <laughs> cylinder. <laughs> I'm like, why y'all, this guy, why y'all in the meat hanger? Man. It's like uh, Michelangelo <laughs> slapping niggas like that on Ninja Turtle with the sausage. <laughs> oh, man. So, we three episodes in, mm-hmm. three more to go. Where y'all think we going? Like, what, what y'all think going to happen? Why do I keep clicking on this? I, I think... Honestly, I think this show for the turn of MCU upside down. And what's the next movie after this? It's in New World Order. It's Deadpool and then New World Order, right? No, Captain no, the Marvels. The Marvels. Yeah, the Marvels. Marvels in November. Mm. Okay, I can see that. I don't really be knowing what to expect. I wish I knew the comics and shit. Like, I don't, I don't know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been kind of wondering how they're going to explain, uh, I was about to call him Marvin Harrison, Harrison Ford. How they going to explain him or are they going to even try to explain him? He Red Hulk or something? 
He the, real he, uh, he replaced an old boy. Why do we have to that pass why, away? I mean, he's playing. He's just another actor playing the role, yeah. right? Why do we even have to go down that road? Y'all know what happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I say, are they, or, like, are they gonna even try I mean, that, to? That, that, I, man, that's becoming a pet peeve of mine for real. Mm-hmm. In 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 movies, when they get another actor to play the role, and they have to come up with a scenario on yeah. why it's not the same, why they don't look the same. Yeah, oh, like man. man, chill out. Man. Everybody know what happened in real life. Yeah. Everybody know white people age crazy. What? He just looked different. Nah, dude died. <laughs> then again, oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, he oh. died in real life. Oh, the actor. Yeah, yeah Ross Thunderbolt Ross. Oh. Man, and they crazy. went and got Who one of the. Um, I can't remember what William Hurt. Yeah. Okay, let's get Harrison in there. <laughs> Cause who was William Hurt? He another rap, rap, uh, another actor from the eighties. Uh, that's why I said they Pass went to go then. get one of the biggest actors from from his time to come pl- replace him. Herc was, yeah. Oh, okay, well, not he wasn't one of the biggest. What was some of the movies? Harrison he was in? Ford. I'm just asking, bro. I'm not throwing no shots. I ain't disrespecting the dead. I'm just asking. <laughs> that is a good question. He, I feel like he played a villain in like hella movies. I feel like he's been in. Was something people would know. Hmm, hmm, this hmm. name, I might know him. The Doctor. No. I know that movie. I don't think I know that one. Lost in Space. He was in that. The original or the new one? The original movie. Oh, I never seen that one. With uh, old boy and Gary Olson. I don't think I know who that is. Count Dracula. What movie uh, am I thinking uh, of? Um, Gordon from The Dark Knight. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know him. He was he played Dracula. Yeah, Bram Stoker. Oh. Yeah, with Keanu Reeves and him in there? Oh, yeah, he was in AI. I forgot about that. You did? I, I ain't, sure hated I ain't that. Not, I, I sure hated Dracula, AI. man, to, to the He was anime. in Vantage Point. That's what I remember him from. Yeah, I don't think I know nothing. I might have saw some of these You got to be high to watch AI. Yeah, I'm sure. That movie it, used to be so boring it, to me. It is and it ain't, man. Like, if you. It, it's boring. What's AI? <laughs> when did it come out? Man, back in the early 2000s. Oh. Yeah. About a yeah, RIP uh, to, to William Hurt. Man. Basically, damn near on some futuristic Pinocchio shit. Yeah, mm. it, that was probably based in 2023. It's it's so funny to me watching old movies <laughs> that's in the future, <laughs> like and it'd be like 2025. It's, like, it's not like that. Bro. Imagine how that shit look in the 80s. Facts, yeah. crazy. And Back to the Future, they said we was gonna have flying cars, hoverboards. Was, I mean, and shit. we got one now. Which one? You know, they, they got did, one. They did some field one. Man. Don't cost three hundred thousand. All right. That looked like it's see through. Hmm. It's like a Sue Storm shit. Hmm. It's like Sue Storm. Little, little I shit. would. I wouldn't say that, but I don't like the way they made it. It's just like it ain't like solid. It's translucent. Oh, it ain't solid like a car. Like it's like it's translucent though. Nah. No, oh. you could just see through it. It's spaces in it. You can just see through it. It's open panels and shit. Yeah. Okay, I don't see. Basically, you flying around in the cage. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Look like a big ass cage. Three hundred thousand. Can't wait to see the first, first St. Louis person pull up on the riverfront. I hope it rained on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. But I uh, think get struck by lightning, bro. Though. That's- be up in the air like that. Man, it's it your dumb ass no, fuck. Yeah, it can't be no metal, right? It ain't metal? Well, no, mm. it'd be heavy, so you right. Mm. You get struck by lightning like you just said. Huh? You get struck by lightning flying around. You you say you can, right? Yeah, if it's yeah. metal. Yeah, if it's metal. That's what I'm saying. So it can't be no metal on it, right? Man, I ain't I mean, planes, planes How do we give a secret invasion of this? I don't know. So anything else about the, about the show? Nah. Else I'm enjoying it so far, man. Yeah. I am too. I am too. Can't um, wait for next week. Yeah, this shit fire, bro. I do hope this it has right. long and long lasting ramifications. I'm tired, for I'm the tired MCU, of the short series, man. But Give us at least ten episodes. Man. Yeah, the whole six episode thing is like. Mm. But then again, I understand if Samuel L. Jackson, how long you gonna really time down? For what are you? What else are you doing, Sam? We don't. We don't care about your. What, what's that? Uh, what's that cell phone commercial he did? Was it U.S. Sailor or something? We don't want. We don't. Don't nobody use that. Show. Was it cricket? 
but you got what the is it the insurance commercial? I think he on. I you think he on another one. one. Insurance commercial and then get back to the Marvel. Boy, y'all talking about the credit card commercial? Yeah, that that was that's what I was gonna say. The but Capital he got, One he, commercials. He he ain't have a cell phone commercial. I don't know. I just know he got a Capital One. Advent Mobile or some shit. <laughs> some shit like that, man. Do that Advent Mobile. What's in your wallet? <laughs> oh, that, that's what it. Yeah, you're right. But that's no, right. but. Dude, it's Sam, man. Sam, stay booked. But what? But book for what though? Everything more than just movies. He's doing everything, huh? Nigga, because the commercial does just take what two days of shoot. We can probably look up Samuel Jackson, and probably his whole last year is probably booked up. He's probably had at least one or two movies. Oh, he do got another movie. Every year for like the past. He do got another movie coming out this year, don't he? <laughs> the Hitman's Bodyguard. Y'all like the movies? I, I did. I liked it. I, but I like watch him. I like Sam Hayek, though. You ain't watching none of them? No, nah, damn. Shh, that ain't crazy. Sam Hayek Not, even the, not even the Hitman's Wife's the Bodyguard? Mm-mm. Sam Hayek and that motherfucker, boy. Man. But yeah, I, I I could see why it's only six episodes. I could see why. I could see why. But I'm enjoying it. Want to see where it go? About you, Ryan? No, I said I said the shit. I love it. I love it so far. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I don't think I don't really don't think they can really well. They could disappoint at this point, but I think with them killing this episode, them killing wasn't killing somebody. I think was pivotal. It's for the show. It's kind of like a mid-season yeah. reveal type shit. I'm sick of graphic, though. Somebody like, need to I, put hands. No, I like graphic. I've been wanting to say I like graphic. Somebody need to put hands on graphic, though. Why are they so scared of him? Talos, he got mutant powers. Talos was about to. What powers he got? Did you see when he got cut in his hand and it healed? Yeah, oh, that, they, that, did not, that's, they did not nah. really turn him into a super Oh, that's girl. another scroll thing? Nah, that's, no, that's not, from that... Um, that's, uh, extremist, extremist from uh, yeah. Iron Man three. Oh, I th- I, th- I thought all scrolls could heal uh-uh. like that. No, nah, they didn't. If you they, didn't get shot, no, that's why I thought dude shot him in the heart. I think that was them showing us that like he didn't already did the whole super scroll shit programming shit. Yeah, you know, you see him drop the name. <laughs> Say yeah, we could become super scrolls. Yeah, yeah. Hell no, I, I like Talos. I mean, not Talos. No, I, I like, like that. I like I like Gravic. 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 I like yeah. Gravic too. Davic, that's who is Davic. The name, yeah, I don't know where I got that. Put that Daggett name is from. a name from Batman. No, no, Davik. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Davik's on something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Game of Thrones. Nah. Is it Davik? Oh, no, okay. But Mortal Kombat. I feel like it's a war movie. <laughs> Man, I don't know, but I, I, I just want somebody. I just want to see him square. I want to see him square with somebody. But now that he, I know he got superpowers, probably mm-hmm. not. And but. that's and that's why a lot of people not watching it. Why? Because it's not really a lot of action, Man. and a lot of fighting. And all that people don't same thing with Andor. I call it fire, y'all call it boring. I Captain Marvel like had Andor. action in it. Why they ain't like that? Who Captain Marvel? Action. Don't I'm not. Cover, I'm not. I'm not talking about action you. Don't cover up everything. But I'm not talking about you. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. A lot of people don't like it because it ain't got a lot of action in it. I don't Captain, think people like Brie Larson. That's, that's another, one of that's the reasons. Fact. I, that's a big reason, though. But yeah. you know, but how can you say that? But not because she bring her big head ass in the, in the room and then just uh, get the annoying people all what? the time. No, I said, you can go ahead. I said, how can you say that with her, but not with Ezra? But no, I know people. I think that's why. I think that's why the Flash is is doing the way it's doing because of Ezra. You go ahead. No, nah, I'm just saying, people. Not y'all, but people always saying, you know, people. I don't like it because of this. I don't like it because of that. But then this movie's out there. This. Ex- mm-hmm. Going that's exactly what they explain, yeah. and they don't like that either. Mm. Yeah. Still got to make a good movie, at yeah, least. Be lost at least try. And I thought that's I thought that's what the end goal was because we always talked about you know something being good, and this mm. is actually good. Yeah. And to see people just not like it, it's you purposely yeah. saying you don't. like Yeah, it. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know that people wouldn't. wouldn't people ain't even giving it a chance. But that's. I think a lot of people, when they get into the superhero genre, they just take it as a sub of the action drama. So all they want is the big action scenes. Mm -hmm. Like all this, like they they looking at Secret Invasion, they're like, man, if all this ain't leading up to a big fight at the end or some big war, 
between humans and scrolls at the end. It was some bullshit. I feel like yeah, if I if I'm I mean, technically you will want Secret Invasion to have that. Yeah, true. But I don't think we're gonna get it. That's why I said I hope it bleeds over into other movies and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So we can I mean Captain they changed it to um nah, they changed it from New World Order, didn't they? Yeah, I can't remember what the name Man. is now. Oh, they changed the name? Brave New World or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think that might be a Brave New World. Chumps. <laughs> but we going to see, man. They say that this that Secret Invasion going to impact the Marvels and the new Captain America. So, mm. And I will say, I don't know if this, if this is a spoiler or not, or I don't even know if this is real. I really don't think that it's real. That Robert Downey Jr. was spotted on the set of the new Captain Marvel movie. What that mean? Doing a few scenes. Oh, nah, that's different. That's all I'm saying. You said a new Captain Marvel? I don't know. No, I said Robert Downey. Yeah, but the new Captain Marvel movie, you said he on the set. That's a Captain Marvel? No, new Captain America. Oh. New Captain America movie. Mm. So, we're going to see. Time will tell. Time will tell. Well, that's been views of a flick. That's our views on Secret Invasion so far, episode one, two, and three. I don't know why. One, two, and three. But uh, <laughs> I'm Will I Am Defoe, a.k.a. Big Willie Style. That's said. What's happening? That's Ron Jarobi. You already know me. Gonna see y'all next time, episode four. And I'm gonna give a small review on where it's signed, because I'm gonna watch this shit. All right. I'm going to watch Because I love 80s movies. I'm surprised I never saw that movie. Dude, like 80s movies, but not 80s music. No, I love 80s music. No, no, no I don't like some of the 80s mu- uh, beats from the uh, rap songs. Them, some of them shits was trash. Okay, okay. <laughs> See y'all next time. Peace.